Advertising Rehab by Umair Kazi, partner Ishtihari. In this article published in the May-June 2017 edition of Aurora, Umair Kazi presents his detox program for advertising professionals. In this excerpt, he advises people in the profession to use less jargon in pitches and suppress the urge to be connected 24/7. Welcome to Advertising Rehab. Step 1: Dishonesty Detox. As advertising professionals, we are in the business of making up stuff. Whether it's the little white one, like claiming the classic the file is huge it's taking time to render to buy time, or the sinister habit of building in margins on your cost sheets. My suggestion is that you start an experimental cleanse. Starting tomorrow, consciously make an effort not to lie. Exaggeration counts and do it for 3 days. Then take a day's break from brutal honesty. Schedule all client visits then. And then try honest again for 4 days. Increase incrementally until completely rid of the bad habit. Step 2: Dejargonizing. This is a tough battle because from the pitch to the brief to the proposals all the way to the results everything is laced with jargon a drastic way to cure this is switching to urdu for a few days since it is a horde language it tends not to support hollow yet technical marketing jargon very well write emails in roman urdu make presentations in urdu and go all out in embracing it as a form of communication it will take you out of your comfort zone and force you to communicate in simple language Step 3: Unplug therapy. I get jittery if my phone's battery runs out. Although this is expected of any millennial, it is in advertising that this sort of dependency on technology gets out of hand. For people in art direction, the dependence might be on browser staples like shutterstock.com. For copywriters, there's always something on ads of the world. The best way to deal with this is to chuck away your phone. and put an auto responder on your email informing everyone that you are going off the grid and need to be contacted face to face step 4 cliche cleansing when most people go into advertising they are bursting with energy enthusiasm and experimental ideas slowly through a painful process of denial client disapproval and systematic negative reinforcement from more experienced ad people This enthusiasm is killed off and is replaced by the clichés of Pakistan's ad scene. Many have tried to resist but eventually the system clobbers you into submission.